Jelly's gonna cut you. Leave run, bud man, run! Nope. He's eating his damage. Leave him the, leave him the fuck alone. How far can I get in this game before I have to go pick up a mirror? <laughs> Stop sniffing my bed. You big chompers. Have to go to flood. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. We'll have exclusive footage later today. Ghibli! Riley, god damn it. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests. What in kind heart. of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. Uh, I'm an alliance negotiator. Fine. We've got a big oh, session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Healer, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulus. Without it, I'll, I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulus. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. Just sorry you came to this. Captain Anderson. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. I sense that you are less than pleased with her return. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. Jesus. I had a okay. decent Apparently being back. wasted in public is not an issue. Wait, what is time wasted in public? <laughs> Um, so I was watching the, I clicked on YouTube this morning, like I do every morning, and put something on while I work, and a, a Copenhagen Let video popped up, like, <laughs> places, they pulled me off the mission. places to eat, just like right? To you to give and so I was like, oh, okay, I so know, I so watched I it, and then I no got, like, this little notebook that I have, and I put all the I restaurants down and then where they're at, but you, can't give up. you know, so I can, get, when I go, so, we both I can you go to so many places. You have so, to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only uh, one ship. Of course, when I'm watching that, undetected, and sidebar, crying. you know, they show all like Citadel the related kind of videos the that are similar. But if we and so there's this gay couple that lives there, to bring the and they make online. all these videos you about living in, in Denmark. So I'm like, oh, that'd probably be good gone. to watch some of these videos, because I don't, I don't fucking, I've never been out of North America. I can unlock and I have no fucking idea. The in the you know, like Denmark mm -hmm. and, and Norway, even though they're right next to each other, can be totally completely different. You know what I mean? I'm like, okay, well, leave that to me. 
Just you know, make sure you're in the normal. Work, so the they're watching these videos along. and like making little notes. You're gonna get yourself killed. And that's so, the Medina like, oh, okay. Yeah, they don't give a I fuck in Denmark. The computer in his office, <laughs> maybe I can override it. They don't give a shit. Like, they are so not PC at all, which is fine by me. I'll just have to think of something. The ambassador will not forgive this guy. So I don't have to worry about like offending anybody. We don't have a lot of options. Mm -hmm. Right? Into the so, because they don't give a shit. Right, They're super direct. The so I don't have to be like overly polite or anything like that. You'll have a better chance uh, if you go after the Kind of like, you know, in Japan, like strangers don't to talk to, you know, you don't know one another, you're not talking you to one another. To the yeah, the they don't do that in Denmark either. Let's do it. So, I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the like you can, tell Joker I mean, you could by. probably stop someone and ask for directions, but, um, yeah, other than that, you don't, like, strike up random conversations with people. Luke They're Walker. introverts. Yeah. And they, and they want to be left to fuck alone. <laughs> So, it was more like that. Now we're in everyone's faces screaming with our blue hair. <laughs> no, like it's crazy. Like dark humor is fine over there. They got like, like full on titties on on the side of like public transit, like ads, like just titties out there, snipping everything. Culture, wow. This must be like uh, a for the kids, I don't know. <laughs> our travels Cursing is fine. From like uh, excavations. Kind of like you know when you curse in Spanish. And fewer when you're speaking English, you know, and then people are like, yes, oh, okay, who cares? Because it's not like I actually said bitch, right? So they do kind of the same us. thing in Denmark. Uh, they use English curse words instead of Danish curse word, and nobody yeah. cares. You'll see kids, like, on the bus, like, yelling motherfucker, and nobody, nobody cares. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you'll see teenagers, oh, like, shit-faced sure. everywhere. Part of their culture too, because it's always been a thing. Yeah. Where so. it's here, it's not as normalized. Oh no! Anderson? Like cause they said they, they were. The they said they were on a bus, sense. right? And there was like this old lady on the bus, you know, grandma sitting on the bus, and these the bunch of kids were, you know, talking back and forth in Danish, and then you know, it's like, fuck, motherfucker, shit, whatever, you know. Get us out of here, Joe. And nobody. Now. They don't. They don't even care. So I'm like, okay. Like if I was to do that on a, a bus here, and say some shit, you know, like if I said fuck, they'd be like, oh my god, you watch your language. Yep. Yeah, nobody gets fucked. Um, they downplay things a lot. So. I guess I don't know. Like they showed an example, and like the American person, uh was like, oh, the weather's so nice. And then the Danish person was like, yeah, but it's gonna rain this week. Or they said like, oh, I love the the Christmas fair here, right? And they're like, man, the one in Germany's better. Like, <laughs> it's like shit like that, I guess. Uh, why like? Um, yeah, so. Um, English is fine, I guess. They'd rather you not try and speak Danish. Like, you can. Like, with your friends and shit like that, if you're trying, it's fine. But if you're talking to, like, people you don't know and trying to speak in Danish, like, just speak fucking Only English. Only that guy that can pass that is the guy who speaks different languages on YouTube. <laughs> like, I, I think it's really interesting. Like, apparently there's, like, Danish have a really hard time with accents. Like, different people. Even, like, English people. Like, it's it's really difficult for them. Don't you I guess, think we're a little past what, because of their language? We had to do this, Shepard. You know that. Um, like they were talking about that, like the fact that there's skipper to me. Oh, Captain. Like the amount of words and stuff that they use As I recall, is, the Captain like super now. limited compared to Next like the English I'll language. Stick with Tennyson. Cuz they they use person. like one word in conjunction I mean with than I do. other things. Right? Uh, instead of using, like, a different word Just for every fucking, like, adjective. You know what I mean? So, I I'm like, myself okay. The right thing. That's interesting. Don't believe me yet. So. Believe me, then. You're doing yeah, the right I'm thing. learning a lot of things. Oh, you don't talk about guns? You don't talk about religion? End, some work of uh, I don't know if they really even talk about done. politics. Not unbecoming. Like, all that's a private thing. So you just don't, like, talk about it. I'm like, that's fine. I mean, technically, it should be a private thing. <laughs> I, I wish it would be go back to Ash, 
I don't oh. always want to leave you. It like, Sometimes I, I'd like to it reminds me you. of. If I wish we could go back to the times <laughs> where we just had those door to door people Shepherd? passing out pamphlets I have a better idea. about have the a thing, and you just ignore the door. I've spent my whole life fighting to get yeah. what I wanted. Like, to get it done, I'll, I'll read it when I have time. Ones. I don't During need people time, telling me not even once did I feel like I was worth what I was their opinion on the matter. I'll figure it out through my own means. You make me feel good enough. Yeah. It's interesting. It's it seems really laid back, honestly. Like everything that they've said, everything's just like, like don't wear shoes. Like if you go to somebody's house or something, on. like don't wear your shoes inside. Okay, that's fine by me. I don't like doing that anyways. Uh, they're not flashy. Like they're and I already knew this, but like their work clothes. It's usually like a plain black pair of pants. Back to you know, and, and um, uh, they wear a lot of I fucking jeans. Like, they get, like, a really good pair of jeans Bridge to Commander and, like, Shepherd. some sneakers. Five and, like, a lot of people relay. wear that. I'm coming up. Like, I've seen, like, in pictures work. and stuff from, like, looking at hotels and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like, everybody's wearing goddamn jeans. <laughs> like, everybody's super fucking casual. So, and there's a lot of drinking. Like, you can drink... You... You can drink apparently pretty much everywhere. So. Yeah, I'm just getting drunk with Kelly. Just like they... filming a vod. <laughs> right? Because they were saying like kids, like they they had an apartment near one of the, or it is the busiest train station in Copenhagen uh, or Denmark Commander? or whatever. You and they said they'd see a shitload of like teenagers getting. Absolutely shit based, like vomiting and whatever. You know what I mean? visual, and then, like, they get on the train and go home, and it's, it's fine. From the planet surface. Like, nobody gives a fuck. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. <laughs> or they'd be in the park that, Commander, the getting shit faced. We'll never make it and, like, people won't. Get us something like, uh, they were saying, like, there the cops, like, they've lived there four years, and they've never talked to a cop. meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find And they're not, like, they don't have, uh, 20 meters? No way we can make a drop in there. Like, highway, or police, or anything like that, because it's all done with cameras The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. So if, like, you're speeding, you're not gonna have a cop pull you over. Because that doesn't happen, because it's... do it. They have speed traps Joker. and like cameras and stuff. Remember? I can do that. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker. So I'm like, all right. Drop us yeah. right on top of that bastard. And you can carry booze around, and nobody will say anything to you. So. <laughs> I'm actually, cause like I wasn't gonna drink when I went. You know, like I don't want to get drunk at all because I'm by yeah, myself. But. Um, people. People leave babies outside, penguin. People they leave babies. They leave their babies outside. Well, it's like that's <laughs> the time when their kids are ready to flock. Just fly like, away from the. <laughs> I'm really happy that I watched some of these videos because if I saw like a baby just sitting outside, I'd be like, "That's odd." Okay, but yeah, like you know, well, so they're called buggy. The there's strollers. a thing called here in America called BPS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Over they, there, they don't I, probably don't. Even, have the same YouTube, amount of government inside. interference in families. No, so I guess it's like everybody does it because, like, if you have a baby, you know, like the buggy, it's a big thing, you know, it's got like the little thing that goes over the top. Uh, that, uh, we have to because like the shops and stuff and cafes, like, it, no they're small, that you know what I mean? So there's not enough room Saren for you to be pushing to a it. fucking buggy there up in there. Some kind of security so like, if the baby's asleep or whatever, we will have to find like what, you're gonna wake the baby up, up so you can run in there? Like, no, you're just gonna let the baby sleep. So you just, you know, pop the little cover over it, you know, they got the shade, you know, some privacy, whatever. And you just leave the little buggy right outside the shop and you go right into whatever you need to do. Like lined up, just like cafe, whatever. <sighs> Nobody cares. <laughs> so like, okay, you know, it's like, uh, I guess it's kind of like tying your dog up outside, you know, going to a restaurant or something. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah, Try like that's how it's. <laughs> well, like that's that's how it seems, like how they're talking about it. Yeah. It's just like tying your dog up outside. Like, no, I'll be back. I'm gonna go get something to eat. 
They showed a picture, right? And there's like a row of bugs outside the cafe. And there's a baby just chilling. Hey. I mean, I mean, they can't get out because they're babies. You know, it's not like they're toddlers. It's a baby, so I, I mean, whatever. I mean, in other places of the world, they had it to where like you can leave your laptop in like in a coffee shop and no one will steal it. They probably must you... not have a lot of, uh... God damn it, you did it again, dude. Okay, you gotta stop kissing on the floor. Like, I just mopped. The blood man does it. Oh, never mind, it's not pee. It's a sippy cup. <laughs> I saw water on the floor and he's like, uh, uh. Yeah. Stepping on it. <laughs> sippy cup's on the other side of the couch and it leaks everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere, and he starts slipping in it. I just don't want him shitting. Like, there's too many toys and stuff. You have to drop in the bathtub full of bleach. Oh my god! <laughs> no, yesterday, like he fucking took his diaper off and put pooping in it, and then he had poop all over his butt. And I'm like, okay, dude, like, let's just go take a bath. Like, hey, where's your diapers? What'd you do with it? Be here. Look. I understand you're having a great time being naked, watching Wally, -E, whatever you're doing. Okay, but. You gotta put the dive strap on. Come on. Yeah, look at all these stuffies. They're fucking everywhere. Leave them on the couch. Like, the corner of our couch is just stuffed animals. <laughs> <laughs> Not action figures? Oh no, action figures are in the bin. Which... We dumped, so... I just haven't had time to clean your fucking living room. Blah man, get out! I wish I could have done it yesterday, but... He had the day off. He took the day off for... Election day. Yeah. But he went on... He kept going on walks to Wiley because Wiley kept wanting to go outside. That's cool. So he, start, so he started saying, I will uh, 500 miles. Because <laughs> Wiley kept getting pissed every time they come back. He's like, dude, we, we just went on like a 30 minute walk. Nope, not enough. I need to be they outside up. longer. No, he literally just wants to be outside almost all the time. Just, if he knows Richard is home, he wants to go outside. So he was. That's good. He wants to be outside. Oh yeah, I don't mind it except like he wants to do it all the time, and I'm like, look, you, I'm not gonna be all the time. Like, you're not gonna get what you want all the time. Why not? <laughs> right? Hey, Grimmies. Tell me why. Let's right, just see. Let's, let's stop doing <laughs> this. He turns into Christian Bale. Oh my God. Why? Why not be uh, stupid? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Keeps dumping these fucking cat toys like an asshole. And he, he loves credits, I don't understand it. Fuck yeah. Okay, so apparently <laughs> I click play. They're in the drinking section. And they're like, yeah, there's this annual thing for uh, people that work. Uh, it's a Christmas party. And you're encouraged to get absolutely fucking hammered. Mm. So <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Not that it would matter because I don't work there, but that's funny. You're like my kind of Christmas party. Oh, you have to get hammered. You have to. <laughs> now that it's a requirement, I don't want to. <laughs> Be like one of those people. No. Time to get shit faced. I'm not gonna I do it because I was told to now. 
Why is this really spicy? Sometimes I'm hesitant to watch some YouTube videos. Some of whose videos? Is this people American? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't know, I just typed Copenhagen in the YouTube search bar, and then I just was looking to see what came up. Uh, and the title is First Impressions of Copenhagen, Strangest Place We've Ever Been. Is it weird because you're American? I don't know. I don't know, you know, they're, they're, they're regular, like, white people. Oh my god! You know? Like, the love, love kind of? Yeah. White red people? White people? Yeah. Yep. So the opposite of me? Witchcraft? <laughs> Okay, Wiley, moving over there. Don't tell me to have brakes. She just has her hair down with the hat on. Good. Look, only got an hour to beat this game. Do it. So I can start on number two tonight. Number two in the trilogy. Yes, I will be going to this place. <laughs> the oldest bakery. And they make authentic fucking baked goods. And I'm I'm down for it. God uh, damn it! Authentic? You mean they don't just pull it out of a can and put it in a Deep tray and throw it in the oven? Like, I guess, like, the recipes they use, like, they... <laughs> it's not, like... You know. It's, there's no, like, it's twist secret. or anything on it. It's, like, original... Oh, okay. How it's supposed to be baked goods. Like, this, the way they make the no cinnamon No creative... Rolls, the, no. Yeah, so it's natural. Because I can't even remember... This place in the last video I watched, that food video, uh, they said how old it was. I can't fucking remember. It's like 18 years from the free fucking shit. It was fake rings when open. But like their danishes are the best. And I would think so, because you're in Denmark. So. <laughs> I learned how to make my uh, Danish dough from a German guy. We'll get an argument, so. He was like, I think they lied about when they came out of the conditioner. Okay, bitch. Like. Ah. Ah. No! Oh, I already played that right. I'm not supposed to die. Okay. Well, yeah, dude. You know what the son of a bitch just said? He said he was comparing the cinnamon roll that they made in that bakery to fucking cinnamon. <laughs> wow. He's like, my expectations were so high. And it was, it was okay. I mean, it was okay, but like, I was comparing Yeah, that's fatty ass American cinnamon roll. <laughs> yeah, but people who review, uh, review foods don't really have a good taste buds. Like, well, they, if they're just I doing mean, it as a travel channel, they're yeah. not. That's why, like, the... They don't have refined the, taste. Yeah, the food one that I watched, though, like, they went, like, they talked about the menu, they talked about, like, who runs the fucking restaurant, or the cafe, whatever it is, 
Um, and they do food videos all the time. So, but they tried like a whole spread on the, cause like they're just walking in there with, you know, their phones or whatever. The last one I watched, it was, you know, one guy was a cameraman, the other guy was talking the whole time. Um, and then they would actually go talk to the owners first and get like background information. Um, and then go in there and film and do all that kind of shit. Yeah. So I don't want to hear this stupid assholes. See, I knew I wasn't going to like it because of the fucking title, Strangest Place We've Ever Been. Like, I knew I wasn't going to like it. These people. I never dreamed that I would actually find Ilos. We'll be getting a hot dog. Hell yeah. Or you can just stay out of the way of the fucking bicyclist to do that. <laughs> I know. Bicyclists used to have the right of way over in Come, those countries. Saren already has a head start. So they actually we have, have like he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it. Like then they have like biking highways and shit too, I guess. That is They're a chance we will have to take. Um, but everybody, everybody rides bicycles in fucking. Uh, oh, come on, like they don't have Uber or anything like that. You either get a cab, you bike, like some kind you take the train. But I think it's probably in Uh, there's a, uh, there's a bus. Must be 50, but years that's old. No wonder we cannot understand. Yeah, or you can take the ferry the too. But that, I think the ferry. I recognize some of the words. At least the one I looked at. It's a warning you know, against the it Reaper invasion. All of the way course. up to fucking Norway, but Between they might have the beacons and the cipher, a couple an other understanding ones. of the Prothean language would have look, been transferred but... into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Yeah, if you booked last minute, you fucking. Home. If these people travel like they do, why would you book last minute? That's a horrible idea. It said Don't expect to get conduit, uh, but it's you know, top to choice. We should go. If you're booking this. Mm -hmm. Okay, they do have a. Uh, well, it's it's a train, but it's a the. Uh, what what do you call that? It's a train, but like subway type train. Yeah. Not like... The tram? Yeah. Runs on electrical power. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It was always funny when my friends didn't pay their uh, ticket to go on buses. And then all of a sudden, oh the next stop is like one of those check stops. Not here yeah. I am with my ticket, and they're all getting <laughs> pulled off. And we're like, oh, okay. no, you're not supposed to be on here. Well, I'm a student at the college over here. Doesn't matter. It's only a dollar to get on the tran or buses or the public transportation system. Yeah, that's not shit. I like the um. Not that I ever used it, but like ASU, the university, mm -hmm. um, they had a specific bus. So like it was the ASU bus, um, and it was a regular bus, but uh, and it, you could get on it to get dropped off at other stops. But for the most part, the kids used it, the students used it. Um, but you would get like a, I think you have to probably they probably had to pay for it or something. But you can get a special pass. If you're a student, so it doesn't cost as much. Yeah. Ahead of time, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like that. You could pay a, uh, a monthly pass. That you get unlimited rides and whatnot. 
I gotta figure out if I can eat with my ham. The fate of the because I feel like that's not entirely. I was swept up. It was okay with things on the wall. Talking how finger of food or having to use utensils. Yeah, because tried to keep themselves alive Okay, so the last season. video I watched, they were talking about things that Let's Danish look people up might etiquette. say. Yeah, I'm going to. But, uh, things that uh, Danish people say that might seem rude but aren't. And I'm like, okay. so I watched it, and I don't know if like it's a real thing or not, but like the American dude was eating the taco with his hands. And then the Danish person was sitting there, like, cutting up the taco and then fucking eating it. So, I'm like, uh... when I, If someone asked me about that, I'd go like, why would you waste the utensils? <laughs> like, if yeah, it, so I have... it's because that is finger food. Because tacos are not originated in <laughs> that what area. It's a trap. Yeah, so, so I don't know. I don't know if, like, that was just something, like, they, you know, for their video they just did, but, um... Like, they'll tell you, so, like, he was telling the Danish person, like, oh, you you can pick that up and eat it, and then they'll tell you, like, this is how we do this in, in Denmark. And then that's, like, the end of it. <laughs> like, moving on! So, um, I'll have to look that up. Because I think in the the last I food eating one I watched, for decades, there but I have might have been, like, one or two things that he picked up. I what think it was always with now? the... Whatever we find, so... It's if like in Japan, it's trap, polite to slurp your food. In as well. But in America, you'd see differently. You oh yeah, or coffee, like the um, but eating you are fruit. Not machine either. You have to cut this it up. They won't was one of many that was eat apples. Anticipated. Just this is why the normal way? <laughs> through the beacons. Mm -hmm. I thought that was the weirdest thing. It looks like I mean, I, it, I do not you sense know, the taint of indoctrination it. upon any of you. Unlike the other... This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand- I have understand. been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to yeah, change. Absolutely not. I will not Soon, be biking. I cannot will bike. Be safe. No, no. Why did you bring you me must here? break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes. Why wouldn't did. you look that up? The Citadel is the heart of your oh civilization God, and the I can't seat watch this video anymore. I, as it was I can't with do us, it. and as it has been, we're gonna bike in Copenhagen, but, the but we don't know what the rules trap. are for biking the in Copenhagen. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. I'm gonna go now. I'm one that like links to dark space, <laughs> the empty <laughs> void. Go from the this video. Horizon, when the Fuck Citadel this. relay is activated, it's just the rude. Will like I, fall I, through, I, I, what you should also look up is will be destroyed. areas to avoid over there. The Reapers can wipe out the council and the yeah, entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. I just don't understand that. If you're I, I don't know if it's we even an everybody we thing or if it's just an American thing, but I feel like it is extremely rude. It's probably an everybody relays. thing. It's extremely rude to go to another country and, and not at least crippled. research it a little Each bit. Star oh, you isolated, mean going over there from the others. Others. Easy but yes, that's what I'm saying. Fleets. Like, if you're going anywhere, because like, we have as name? the Is Reaper systematically Paul? obliterated yeah, his older brother. World by I don't world, know which one system by system. He went to Japan and wiped us so... out. Yeah, he still, filmed that. I don't understand how he's not canceled for that. I don't. So he Some was. Must have like, to well, he wasn't like canceled, but. I mean, Citadel, like, his followers had access to dropped. Our records, uh, I watched maps, a video about it. Data. Um. Information and then, is power, and they knew everything about us. That all that got Death scrapped, I believe. And then that's when the he started like, Some know, like boxing or destroyed. whatever Others the fuck he started doing, and he's doing other stuff. He doesn't do that same content anymore, I don't control, believe. So taken in as refugees um, by other Protheans. They yeah, I don't watch him machines. at all. I don't think he's as popular as he used to be Within because he does like a podcast with a couple other people. So I think that's maybe why like he's still slightly relevant, but it's because he's doing it with other people and understand. it's like a podcast. I don't. Where did the he's not go going out. They conquered your people. Our world was stripped bare, but... harvested by the indoctrinated um. slaves. Everything of value, all resources, yeah, I just think all it's, technology it's, was taken. Like we. As Certain Americans, all right? Expect when people come to America the that they will the act appropriately, right? Like, space, we have rules. Them. 
we all pretty much speak English, all that kind of stuff. Of so, like, if you expect away. all of us to cater to you and you're visiting or you're moving behind. here, whatever it is, like, that's not going to happen. Like, I can't. I'm not bilingual. I'll try my best. The you know what I mean? But, like, the rules are the rules. The laws are the laws. The and if we go to your Prothean country, we have to follow that. So, the same... You know, it goes both ways. You said you brought me here so, for a reason. So, the conduit is the key. You know, you can't act like a fucktard. Before the Reapers attack, we Protheans run the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind you shouldn't act like that when you visit, please. Relay technology Common was a top secret facility. But people don't fucking here, do that, and it pisses me off. Here, a small-scale version of a mass relay. Like, really? One that like... went directly to the Citadel. The hub of the relay network. I mean, I don't expect you to, like, weapon. fucking look up all the laws the and, like, burst yourself. No, just, like, just... Common you etiquette, you know what I mean? All so that official records you're not project were pissing people off the initial like attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean like Empire what I'm doing is down, probably a little excessive, like watching we all these all videos and stuff. But I want to have a good time facility went dark. because I don't even know what I'll be the going back, and I'm going to be there overnight. The into these archives. And if I need help, to I need to know how to get that. Everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility. And wake the staff when the danger had passed. No, kitties. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed. Decades. Centuries. The Reapers persisted. And my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel real- There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You, you were just... programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. When the researchers woke, they realized like, the Prothean species shitty. was doomed. No fucking... There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the, the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish so... study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the there. Keepers ignored doing? it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. Hey. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity... It might know I will provide whatever information I can. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space... It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable... Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Period keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And but this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped... Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secrecy? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. 
Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to- The Reapers come from dark space? We only have theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter a prolonged state of inactivity. Effectively, they hibernate for the tens of thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover what about the beacon on Eden? At our apex, the beacons span the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single... Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion. But once the Reapers were gone, the survivors... We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors. But if there were, we wanted them to know... A you could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function. But we had to try. If there were, the message was meant for our own people, it was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So when the perhaps, but the when the Protheans alt a likely hypothesis. What happened to the survivors? From they the used conduit? the conduit to gain access to the Citadel, but the conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trying- I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found <laughs> any food or water. I only know they succeeded in their mission to see- How come nobody the noticed- The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest- The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers I don't, the I don't know what I'm gonna Reliance do, on the Keepers ensures no other know, species- It's a thousand degrees, pretty much, I've got the all fire. the time. Come on. The one you call <laughs> Saren has 50 degrees the other call. morning here. I have been to Canada, so I mean. Oh, well, let's compare but... it to every part of the world to Canada, eh? <laughs> I'm just talking about like, cause I was I was skiing, and I Is was where I was at. They're there French was... and English at the same time, Kevin. <laughs> no. <laughs> but um, well, cause like where I went, I was up in the mountains, and obviously in Denmark there's no fucking mountains. But uh. Just like but they also gave us a chance to it's save flat. ourselves. We must but, um... Yeah, like, I mean, it was freezing as fuck. Like, when I went up in the mountains to go skiing shit, and it snows... fucking all the time. So, um... Cause we would go... I think we would go in March? Yeah, we would go in March every year to Canada. When it was fucking free. So, you know, because it's snowing. But you're also up to snow. But, I mean, I was fine then. I'm just gonna have to look up how to dress in COVID thing in, in the winter time. Because I looked up how to dress in Norway, but that's, that's different. So. It's mainly, I think, Then you do work coats. Yeah, see, they don't use bugs or anything. Just that. Two minutes wasted. Just I drive the wrong way. Here, dude. <laughs> Sucks today's the mirror's early day, so I have to go pick it up. Kitty! What are you doing? What should I have for you? So I doubt that I'm never going to Sonic again. <laughs> Why? Just the last time I went there, the kid was just awful. The hamburgers were okay. The hot dogs were cold. And like, their, their little uh, popcorn chicken boxes, it was just basically all of it was breading. No chicken at all. 
we spend like $20 for all of this. Should be at least decent or palatable. I had like chili dogs and their chili was like so bland and the cheese was just so stringy. You know what? Why would a, a civilization in space run out of energy? Uh, I don't know. Like, why didn't they just make uh, solar energy by that point? I'm learning. It's because they knew that their son would die. Like no, it's not. I mean, I would take twenty dollars per person to go eat a restaurant is pretty fucking hard. I mean, as a fast food restaurant. Yeah. In a fancy restaurant, I should be paying at least 80 to 90. Oh no, they're just talking about like a restaurant. If you go to a restaurant for one person, it's like 20 bucks. Yeah. That's pretty good. I don't think that's expensive. But these people aren't American either, so. How's their inflation? I don't. From everything I've looked at, like that, that food video was from a couple months ago. And they were saying that, um, like they listed prices on everything and they were saying like how much they, of course they were comparing it to pounds, you know, because that's what they, they're, you know, they, um, the conduit but they, they use Danish drone We don't have time Denmark, to admire so, the um, We have to get through that relay. I just have to, but it didn't even seem like that us. much. Like one of the guy, I think he said like one of the places they went was like 10 pounds. So I, and I don't think that that's. Creative travel guide channel. Systems not responding. Abandon the citadel. Evacuate the council. Oh yeah, citadel you control. Like, that's right. Citadel control. Do you come? That. See, but that's not early. That's normal. Five to eight p.m. dinner time. That's normal. <laughs> like. I think I can beat it in 30 minutes, Kelly? You can fucking do it. Go! Yo, what the fuck? Critical failure. Kitty, Critical stop it. You're being system. bad kitties. Bad kitty.
Yeah, I mean, it's been two years ago, but that's fine. Fuck yeah, I love this. One cultural difference between the USA and Denmark is the time spent eating. The Danes spend more time eating. That's fine with me. <laughs> we like to I... eat all of our problems away. <laughs> Yo, how long is this video? Two two minute video? there for like an hour to two hours. Yeah, France and Italy are the top two. What, Denmark's number five? Yeah. San Francisco had some good restaurants. Such a shitty place to be. <laughs> Literally homeless people are outside French and France's restaurants <laughs> wanting some money or either Bazzing out from drugs. You see Captain Crack the elevator. Bear. Suit up! We're going outside! baking muffins right now. I don't have time to bake muffins right now. Okay? No. Mommy's taking a break and then Mommy has to do more work. I'm only waiting until your dad gets home, which will be approximately 30 minutes. game Kelly at the end the final boss there's usually two phases but one of the the tr secrets about it is you're able to make him kill himself before he starts his second phase I love 
person, right? Phone the video. Why I moved out of Denmark. Three things they don't tell you, right? He said, oh, it's great. You know, I had a great time, but they're just in Denmark. Really bad. And people in the comments are working.
Well, you got scratched, is it a cat? No, go on. Maybe don't mess with the animals in such a fashion? No? Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Mama's right here. It's okay. I want Coco? I love Coco. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Oh, no elbow. Sovereign sensed okay. my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. What? Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion okay, will I never happen. We can't stop anything. it. Not forever. Okay. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... For... <laughs> the implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Let's just look to his Communications channel. Contest the ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barrier stop. Forty percent. The council is on board. I repeat, the council is on board. Normandy to the citadel. Normandy to the citadel. Please tell me. The I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arturus fleet. We can save the ascension. Just unlock the relays around the citadel, and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Some True. Reason. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the council. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter I what the I hope the council appreciates this. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Opening. All 
concentrate on Sovereign. Make sure he's dead. Wait. 
Did she write it down on the calendar wrong? Uh, she probably did. She's old. Alright. I just... I don't know. It always slightly bothers me when family members get my number of day wrong. Like, how do you... Like, immediate family members. Like, how do you not know my birthday? The shields are down. Now's our <laughs> chance. I mean... Brothers, sisters, father and mother. Yeah, those things are no. But cousins, stuff after that, no. I don't really like remember. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. But this is my brother. Now, just to set the stage, I am the oldest of all the children because my mom was 17 when I popped out. There is no other grandchildren that were born anywhere near me. <laughs> like, I was born in 92, and everybody else, oh, God, uh, when were my cousins? Go! I fucking, like, jeez. Oh, like, because my sister would be, Katie might be older. I, like, 2006, maybe? So that's a, that's kind of a big gap. So... <laughs> um... Yeah. <laughs> I hate when you're trying to click something on Facebook and it moves it Captain just Anderson, a little bit. Click here. on the wrong thing. Easy. Yeah, so I'm terrible it's at math, so it uh, took me ten, ten year difference. Uh, more than that, actually. More than ten year difference. So I don't know how you fucked that up. Uh, I mean, she knew I was 30. <laughs> she got that right. Oh, lordy. Alright, why the Get out of my room. No, get out of my room. Let's go. Oh, because you're gonna trash my room. And I just put all my stickers on my suitcase. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have bye, gathered baby. here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Most. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly <sighs> gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice. And we share your grief over the tragic Same loss place. of so many okay, noble okay. men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside Counselor, us. Counselor, on behalf of humanity and We the will Alliance. need a list of potential candidates to fill humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? <laughs> you must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, 
I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. Finished it just in time. Awesome. I have to go. Later, everyone. Hope you enjoyed.